Hello everyone, my name is Devashish Bhattacharya. I am an assistant professor in SBIST college. Okay. So in this video, we are going to discuss a problem on Green's theorem. That is, we have to evaluate this line integral. Okay. So we know that according to Green's theorem, this line integral m dx plus n dy, the closed integral is equal to double integration over the surface S is equal to del n by del x minus del n by del y into dx t. Okay. So this is the statement of Green's theorem. Okay. So uh, closed integration over C m dx plus n dy is equal to double integration over S del n by del x that is the partial derivative of n and means the coefficient of dy with respect to x minus the partial derivative of m with respect to y into dx Now, we have to evaluate this line integral. Obviously, this integral is closed. Okay? Now, here m is the coefficient of dx. That means, here it is the coefficient of dx. That means, it will be 3x minus 8y squared and n is equal to the coefficient of dy. That means it will be 4y minus 6x. Okay. Now I have to take uh, the derivative of n, partial derivative of n with respect to x and uh, partial derivative of m with respect to y. That means del m by del y okay, will be equal to take the derivative of 3x with respect to y because uh, we have to take the partial derivative with respect to y. Now, in the term 3x, there is no term containing y. That's why the partial derivative of 3x with respect to y will be equal to c. Then, minus the partial derivative of minus 8y square. Now, minus 8 will be treated as constant and the derivative of y square is equal to 2y into 2y. Then, now, take the derivative of n with respect to x. That means del n by now del n by del x is equal to take the derivative of 4y with respect to x, it will be 0 because 4y will be treated as constant. Now the derivative of minus 6y, 6xy is equal to take the derivative of x only. The derivative of x is equal to 1, that means it will be minus of 6. Then, now according to Green's theorem, this line integral will be changed into surface integral. That means double integration over S del n by del x. Now del n by del x is minus of 6 y. Minus del n by del y. That means it is, it is minus of 16 y. Now minus of minus 16 y into dx dy. Okay. Now double integration over s minus 6y plus 16y dx So it is equal to minus 6y plus 16y that means it will be 10y. That means double integration 10y into dx Now the most important thing in this sum that is to evaluate the limit. Now see the curve. The curve is now C is given by the question x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y equals to 1. These are the boundaries. Now, x equal to 0 means, what is x equals to 0? x equal to 0 means y axis. That means this line. This line is y axis. y equals to 0 means x axis. That means this is x plus y equals to 1. This line looks like something like this. Okay? So this line is actually x plus y equals to 1. Okay. Now, so the surface is actually this portion. This portion is the required surface. Okay? Now, in this surface S, now we have to take any vertical strip. That means, if I take any vertical strip, 
any vertical string. Take any vertical string. Like this. Now the bounding curve of this vertical strip is y equals to 0. And in the above part, it is y equals to 1 minus x. Okay? And x plus y equals to 1. So this is x plus y equals to 1. That means x by 1 plus y by 1 equals to 1. Here it is 1 and 1. So this point will be 1 comma 0. And this point is 0 comma 1. So the bounding curves in the vertical strip, the bounding lines are y equals to 0 and y equals to 1 minus 6. So here the limit will be y equals to 0 to y equals to 1 minus x. And the limit of x is here it is 0. This point is origin that means 0 comma 0 and this point is 1 comma 0. That means x will be from 0 to 1. Okay. So x will be from 0 to 1. Okay. Now it will be 0 to 1. Now limit I will take the part containing y. The part containing y. And dx will be taken upside. Here it is y equals to 0 to y equals to 1 minus x. Okay. Now it will be 0 to 1 into dx into it will be y equals to 1 minus. Now the uh, integration of 10y. Integration of 10y is 10y square by 2 and limit is 0 to 1 minus x. It is y equals to 0 to y equals to 1 minus x. Now it is integration 0 to 1. It will be 5 into 5 into 1 minus x whole square because if you put 0 in the portion of y it will be 0. So it will be 5 into 1 minus x whole square into dx. Now 5 into this is a minus b whole square that means a square minus 2ab plus b square into dx and the limit is from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. So 5 into the integration of 1 dx is equal to x. That means x. Minus integration of 2x. That means 2x square by 2. Plus x square. The derivative of x square. Integration of x square. Sorry. Integration of x square is x cube by 3. And the limit is from 0 to 1. Now. 5 into put the value 1 in the portion x, in the place of x. So it will be 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 3 minus if you put 0 in the place of x, it will be over 1, 0. So 5 into 0 plus 1 by 3 because this will be 0. So that answer is 5 by 3. Okay.